Hey, in this video we're going to take a look at how to add an RSS feed in Moodle 2 and hopefully you can't hear my kids talking in their whiny baby voices in the background. RSS, that uh, acronym means really simple syndication, which I think is hard to understand. So I like the other um, definition for it, which is rich site summary. So basically that means that if you subscribe to a feed, not just in Moodle, but you can do that in a number of different web creation, website creation programs. But if you subscribe to a, f a feed, what you basically get is dynamic content where you are um, displaying on your page the most recent postings on any given website that you're subscribed to. So for example, if you're looking on this page of Debbie Hans, she's subscribed to the BBC World News and she, all of these are hot links to stories. And what you're just seeing here are the last five headers from the BBC News. If I look at this tomorrow, what you see in this block could change. That's why it's dynamic. Um, again, it's just pulling from another website its most recent content postings. So um, Debbie was interested in subscribing to CNN Student News. So I went to CNN and I found their RSS feed addresses. So this is an address to get the feed. And so I went to that page. And so the first thing is that you need to do is you have to find a feed that's relevant to your content. And then you have to copy that feed address. So I'm going to hit Command C on my Mac to copy this address at the top. That's kind of the first step. Then I'm going to go back to the course page and I'm going to add a block on the right hand side but to do that I have to turn editing on so I click on the button at the top right I'm going to go down to the add a block menu and I am looking to add a remote RSS feed so I choose that option scroll down where I now have to configure this feed so I'm going to click on the edit icon or the configure tool and um, before I do any of these settings right here I'm going to say add or edit a feed and it brings me to another page and these are the feeds that other people in our system have already added to their pages so you don't necessarily need to go out and find your own but um, you can look through here and if you find one that you think is interesting for your page you could do that and you I've just noticed that there's already some feeds from CNN but I don't see CNN student news so I'm going to scroll to the very bottom and add a new one and so here is where I paste that address that I copied and I could put a t custom title and I actually like the idea of doing that because sometimes the, um, you could check it, but sometimes the title from the um, site might not be as clear. So CNN Student News. I'm having a little t hard time um, concentrating because my kids are fighting in the background. Now shared feed means do you want to um, let others in our system pull that feed that you've set up on their behalf and you know there's a lot of other US history teachers and they might want to use it so I'm going to change that to yes and I'm going to add it all right so now I'm back here so I'm back on Debbie's home page I'm going to go down to configure this which brings me back to this page which kind of seems like a little roundabout way but I don't know let's give it a try so what we want to do here is decide do we want to just have the headers for the feed or do we want a slight summary so I'm just going to keep it at the headers for now you can choose how many um, past um, postings you want and so five is a good default and then we have to choose which feeds we would like to make available here's where it's confusing because the top ones are blank I might need to try to fix that so this this is probably really you know somebody might have a little technical issue here not knowing that they can go down here and find all the feeds that we've added as a as a system so I want CNN student news 
I could put in a title there, but if I wanted it to be different than this one, I'm going to leave that blank because I'm fine with the current title. Now, do you want to link back to the original site? That would be back to CNN Student News. I'm going to say um, no, although um, I might have to go in and change that. I'm not sure. If there is an image, I'm going to say yes, although, again, if that doesn't look nice, I might go back and change that to no. And the rest of this is where I just want to display it on your on Debbie Hahn's content pages. And I'm not going to change those right now. So I'm going to say save changes and hopefully this works. And it did. Now the only problem here is that the image that's coming from CNN is too big for the width of our um, our particular blocks. So that doesn't look very good in my opinion. So I'm actually going to go to the configure and I'm going to take the channel image out. I just want to see what would happen if I say yes to this and then I'm going to save changes and I kind of like that because then there's this link to the source site and I'm going to see what that does. Actually that's pretty good. I like having a link to the source site. So that is how you would set up, a C, um, not a CNN feed, but an RSS feed on your page, which is pulling content, dynamic content from some other web page that might be relevant to your content area. So hope that helps.